What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Swoops channel. My name is Matthew. I'm also on this channel. I'm to I am to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic in the description as always, which is superheroes. Guys, it's three in the freaking morning, and Marvel just dropped the first teaser trailer for Black Widow, and just from the thumbnail. It looks completely different from the trailer we got at D23, which I saw. And it's 3 in the freaking morning. Marvel, what are you doing? Oh my god, guys, this is insane. We were expecting the trailer to drop sometime during the day. They usually drop it in the mornings around 8 or 9 a.m. 3 in the morning, Marvel? Really? Like, I'm trying not, not to wake up my family upstairs. So, without further ado, guys, make sure to stay to the end of the video for giveaway details, as in this video, I'm giving away my PlayStation 4. Now, without further ado, let's stop the chit chat and let's react to the first official trailer from Black Widow, baby. Let's go! My girl, bro. Is this is a different trailer. This is a different trailer. No, dude. They really have. They really have all the flashbacks from the different movies. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Seen this. Let's go. Oh my god. Dude, that action looks insane. It's good to see you too, sis. What brings you home? Let's go. So good. Let's go. Look at Scott firing. What? 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 Let's go, guys. This was a completely different trailer that we saw from D23. Now, don't get me wrong. There were the only piece of footage that I remember from the D23 trailer was the scene where Black Widow faces off pistol to pistol with Yelena. But oh my freaking god, that trailer was so much better than expected. Dude, that last shot of Black Widow skydiving through all the rubble, and then you have the gunman still shooting at her in a mid air fight. Like, we thought we would see this in a Spider Man movie where he's like flying with and fighting with Vulture. But not even, we're seeing it in a Black Widow film, baby. Let's go. This was so much better than expected. But guys, that, that was just, because it was so unexpected, I just want to rewatch it, redigest all of that in. Because we got Thunderbolt Ross, you know, Red Guardian looks so good. The whole team, oh my God, the suits look freaking amazing. The only thing is that we barely got any Taskmaster, but he was in the trailer. We got clean looks at Taskmaster, and oh my god, you guys don't even know the action, the fight sequences between Nat and Taskmaster are freaking amazing. And just from the beginning to the end of this trailer, I just love the tone, man. So let's just, let's rewatch it, let's redigest it, and let's just get right into it, baby. God, I love how it starts off like this. Setting the tone. Now it really feels like a departure for the character. You got endgame dialogue, flashback sequences. I'm gonna die from my past. 
Thunderbolt Ross. That's crazy. See, this I saw at D23. Dude, this action sequence is so crazy. It's something like we've never seen in an MCU movie before. Ah, oh, that oh my god, it looks so freaking good. That suit. And apparently there's like more black widows. Like look at all of those. Taskmaster! The boy. He looks like the comedic relief in this film for sure. Oh, that suit looks freaking amazing. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that last shot is so awesome. May 2020, baby. Can't come sooner. So guys, overall, this trailer was freaking way better than I expected. It was way better than the trailer that we got in D23. And oh my god, it just sets the tone. You guys, it sets the tone without actually feeding us what this film is actually about. We still don't know what the main plot is about. What's Taskmaster involved with? Why is he the main villain? We still don't know. We still haven't seen any real hand-to-hand -hand combat action sequences. Like there has been shown in different footage at different conventions. And this... Dude, this it just looks so good. Like, the action looks top tier. MCU spy movie, top tier action. I feel like this is a bold statement to make, but I feel like the action in this film with the big action sequences and then with the hand-to-hand -hand combat action sequences, we are going to get some of the best MCU action we've ever seen in this movie. And I love, from, I love how just this trailer is put together, you know? After coming off of Avengers Endgame where... Not died. She, she, she died in that film. This film, even though it's a prequel, it still feels like a departure for the character. It feel, still feels like this is her last hoorah as she rides off into the sunset. And that's, that's going to be it for her. You know, from the beginning of the trailer where it starts off with the endgame dialogue, the flashbacks from Avengers Age of Ultron and the different MCU movies. It just, it, it really hits you. <laughs> and then just seeing it all come together was freaking beautiful. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this trailer. Now getting into giveaway details. So I'm finally giving away my PS4 in this video. And the winner of the PS4 is Bidata. Bidata has always been in my comment sections, always in every single video. And Brother, it's finally paid off. I want to give back to you and give you a PlayStation 4. So hit me up on my Instagram for giveaway details so I can send you your PlayStation. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching. And in order to stay up to date with everything related to Black Widow, I'm doing a trailer breakdown later with everything always. Make sure to hit that bell notification on my channel to get notified when I post that video. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching. Marvel, you really dropped this trailer at 3 in the morning. But guess what? I was ready for it. So let's get it, baby. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.